Hello there, it's Dr. Anul Shripatrak here and I'm a nephrologist in Pandio. I'm here today to burst a few myths. One of the myths I've heard over the years is that dialysis is permanent and there's no recovery from kidney failure. That's not true at all. Kidney failure are of two types mainly. One is called acute kidney injury or AKI for short. The other one is chronic kidney disease, CKD for short. <coughs> AKI is where KP function deteriorates over a span of few hours to days. However, CKD develops over many weeks or months or years. AKI is usually reversible. We have to find the cause and treat it and reverse the problem. AKI has got three stages and the third stage might end up requiring dialysis temporarily. Whilst most people do recover from dialysis, a small subset of patients with stage 3 AKI might end up requiring dialysis permanently, but that's an exception. Many people require dialysis for a few days or weeks at the most. The main thing is to find out the root cause and treat it effectively. Most people with AKI are usually in hospital, mostly in ICUs with various other problems as well and are in usually safe hands. So if the nephrologist offers dialysis to any of your family members, the questions to ask him or her would be whether your relative has got AKI or CKD and what are the chances of recovery of kidney function and coming out of dialysis. The best person for you to ask questions is always your nephrologist and not anybody else. Thank you.